despite the fact that the Georgia governor has reopened businesses, there are many business owners that are flat out refusing. And see, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to get more difficult for people. You know, I have a story that I might be doing a little later where these governments are saying if your company opens back up and you're collecting unemployment and you refuse to go back because of even because of the coronavirus, they're cutting you off of unemployment. I don't think that's right. But, you know, what they're trying to do is force everybody's hand back into these businesses, and they know this damn thing ain't resolved. And in fact, I went to look at Georgia's numbers. Georgia went up in depths. Okay, they went up. And this is only going to get worse. So this came out in Newsweek, April 28th, 2020, more than 50 Georgia restaurant owners say they won't reopen as Governor Brian Kemp lifts coronavirus lockdown. So he's trying to put these people in harm's way and they are railing against it. Well, it's good to see that some people down there got some common sense. More than 50 restaurant owners in Georgia have banded together to say their establishments will stay closed despite Governor Brian Kemp's lifting some coronavirus restrictions in the state. Restaurants in the state were allowed to resume operations on Monday as long as they followed a number of requirements, including limiting customers to 10 to 500 feet apart. But the group of restaurant owners in Atlanta and Savannah who together operate more than 120 restaurants, said they have no plans to reopen right now. Operating under the hashtag GA Hospitality, they prepared a statement published as a full page paid ad in the Atlanta Journal-Constitution paper on Tuesday. The statement also notes the responsibility of restaurant owners in managing their businesses during the coronavirus pandemic and their duty to safeguard the health of employees and visitors. We agree it is in the best interest of our employees, our guests, our community, and our industry to keep our dining room closed at this time, the statement said. The statement was drafted by Ryan Pernice, the founder of RO Hospitality, which operates restaurants, including Table in Maine and Roswell, Georgia, where he's been contacted for comment. The hashtag GA Hospitality advertisement lists the name of each restaurant owner who has decided not to reopen along with their establishments. Among them is award-winning chef Linton Hopkins, who owns Atlanta-based Hopkins and Company Restaurant Group with his wife, Gina. The company restaurant includes Holman's and Finch, Public House, Hops, Chicken, C, Elitz, and four H&F Burger locations. Hopkins told Newsweek that he wanted to join the group of restaurant owners speaking out because our industry has not uh, is not one voice. We are many. Our group idea and needs are different than others, and there is room for every voice in this dialogue, and we want it. Our voice to be heard, Hopkins said, within this group. We are independent and we will continue to pursue our independent path on reopening. Though we are unified and not opening right now, we are open to many ideas and wish to collaborate on the best way to move forward safely. On Friday, Hopkins took to Twitter urging Atlanta's residents to refrain from gathering at businesses that have been permitted to open. 
yeah, I don't blame them. So they're pretty much saying, you know what, don't listen to this governor, you know, side, be on the side of safety right now. The data shows we are not close to being through this. The death toll will rise because of it. And it has. It has. Kemp announced last week that he would start to relax restrictions in Georgia despite not meeting the White House criteria for states to have a 14-day decline in cases before reopening. On Friday, businesses, uh, including gyms, barbershops, and nail salons started seeing customers. His decision to start reopening businesses was initially supported by Donald Trump. Yes, it was. And and he done flip-flop all over the place with this one. But the president later offered a sharp rebuke and told reporters that he disagreed strongly with the move. Georgia has more than 24,000 confirm cases of COVID-19, the disease caused by the novel coronavirus, and at least a thousand deaths, according to the latest figures from the Georgia Department of Public Health. This infographic provided by Statista shows the number of COVID cases in the U.S. as of April 28th. So we know the U.S. has hit a million cases. And it is just going over basic stuff about washing your hands. I'm not going to read that part. But y'all, please tell me what you think. I'm glad there are people that's not going to just go along because some governor said they're reopening and they are siding with caution, and I don't blame them. I sure wouldn't rush out there if I were them. And ladies and gentlemen, in my state, they are picketing up in Trenton, New Jersey, where the governor is to open up the state. And it's been bad in New Jersey. Central and Northern New Jersey, they're bad. You know, the Southern part has you know, been very slow and catching up to the north, but there are cases all around us down here. But this country is not ready to reopen. This is way too soon. You barely got past a month, but see, a hard head can only learn by experience. So let them go out there. They're going to have to close all this mess back down again. You know, and I'm I'm laughing at how they keep talking about the second wave. You haven't even gotten through the first one yet. We don't see this thing declining around the country. You know, and every time Cuomo gets on there talking about we flatlined or we peaked the following day, it, it jumps way back up again. I mean, <laughs> what is the point? What is the point in doing that? What is it, psychological warfare or something? I don't know. It's stupid. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.